Hello everybody, welcome, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sharnetta. I hope you all are doing well. This is Love, Truth, and Wisdom Tarot Guidance. I am here to bring you a um, love messages from your person reading. So we will be looking into whatever person you have on your mind, their message to you at this moment in time. Um, I've been shuffling for like, I don't know, for like a really long time, but um, I feel like um, just getting into it, I just feel like your person is preparing something, is trying to prepare um, what they want to say to you, what they want to tell you. Just, I'm just getting like this prep, like this prep type of energy, but we will definitely get into it. So I hope you all are doing well. Um, this is a timeless reading, so whenever you know you come across this reading is when you're meant to hear this message. There will be an extended to this where we will be um clarifying some things pulling more cards um tarot cards um specifically some more messages and just getting some advice so you can follow me over there if you feel guided to do so after you watch this reading and yeah okay so let's get started i was burning some um yerba santa so sorry if it's kind of smoky i mean it should be okay but okay enough chit chat okay so let me tune in to energies here Oh, okay. First one out we have. I want you so bad, but what will others think? Interesting. This kind of reminds me of the prep energy, and I'm being guided to look at the bottom here. And it says, I'm ready to open my heart and be vulnerable with you. Definitely a preparation type of energy. I definitely want to clarify this, but um, I feel just from intuitively, like what I'm getting is that this person has spent a lot of time kind of putting other people's opinions before their own, even before yours. This person has a hard time trusting themselves, trusting their feelings, trusting their own thoughts and beliefs. I feel like also a lot of this person's beliefs weren't even theirs to begin with. So it's almost like I feel like this was someone that you were dealing with where like one day they would be one way and the next day they would be some like another person because they spoke to someone or they engaged with someone who kind of influenced them in a I guess a negative way you should I could say um but just influenced them in a way where they weren't able to trust what they feel I feel like this person has a hard time trusting what they feel that they have a hard time trusting and and I'm getting beliefs like what they believe in like it's almost like if this person like deep down believes in love and then they talk to a person who like doesn't believe in love, then they'll start questioning, well, like, do I really believe in love? Even though it's been innate in them for like ever. But as soon as this, and I feel like it could be, I mean, it says others, but I feel like this could be one particular person in your person's life that is very much, your person holds this person in high regards. It could be a family, it, a family member, it could be a friend, but this is someone that your person like, always struggles with in terms of like learning to stand their ground and believe what they believe and let this person believe what they believe like where this person doesn't take their energy their beliefs their opinions on so much um for others i feel like this could be other people in your person's life it could, it could be friends or just um a few people that are just your person hangs around or talks to i am getting that they're trying to distance themselves from these people um but still like they're they're their thoughts linger in this person's in your person's head you know a lot and it, it weighs heavy on their heart i'm picking up because it, it's really like your person really has to stand up i'm getting like stand your ground stand up for what they believe in stand up for who they are and what they what they love and who they love and your person has has always had a hard time doing that especially when it comes to you and your relationship with them and um and just honestly in life in general like what they do like how they make their money like what their mission work or purpose is like this person just has a hard time standing in their truth being themselves like you know with this person or these people so let's see what else wants to come out what else does your person want to say got your person's very tight lips right now they don't want to say too much they don't want to give away too much um 
we got we have I've been receiving your telepathic messages so whatever you've been telling this person telepathically energetically in your dreams your person is receiving those messages and we'll definitely clarify that as well because I'm curious to see like what messages your person is picking up now this could <laughs> this this message can mean different things so I feel like you could be telling your person one thing telepathically and they could be depending on where they are like energetically vibrationally they could be like some for some of you they could be misinterpreting your messages and for others of you they're getting your messages loud and clear we will clarify but i just feel it's it's one of those two things like i was i felt guided to tell you that so um so yeah but that's good like you've been like and we have all this well not all this we only have two cards here but we have this these blue so blue represents the third chakra represents speaking your truth being vulnerable being open um yeah, there's something about silence with your person. Like your person thinks it's better to be silent than to communicate or something. Um, your person has a hard time speaking their truth. I'm not gonna lie. Your person has a very difficult time like standing up for their truth and speaking it to to people, to you. And I feel like you get a different version of this person's truth. Like whatever this person has told you is not the full extent of their truth, of what they think and feel. Um, maybe because this person, I feel like for some of you, this person has told you that they don't want to be in a relationship or they want to be a bachelor or they, you know, don't care who you date or something to that extent. And that's not exactly true it, it's more the fact that they don't know how to tell you how they feel they don't know how to tell you that they may not be ready to settle down but that doesn't mean that they don't want to settle down you know they don't know how to explain <laughs> i want to say explain things properly they don't know how to communicate in a healthy effective way so they just like push you away or just say things that they don't mean to get you off their back something like that it's just it's 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 definitely in that realm. Okay, let's see what else is coming through. Ooh, here. Okay. Um, please come forward and reach out to me. I'm waiting. Very interesting. So, <laughs> definitely getting for some of you. Your person's definitely waiting for you to reach out to make that move. Which is so weird that it's coming right after this um, receiving your telepathic messages because I don't know what you're telling this person. We'll definitely have to check that out in the extended. But I definitely feel like um, whatever they, this is where I was getting like misinterpreting. Whatever they were, whatever messages they are receiving from you, they're, I don't know. I mean, and maybe they're not misinterpreting. Maybe you're telling this person, like, I'm going to reach out. I'm going to talk to you. I'm going to come forward. I'm going to, I want to speak to you. I want to talk to you. And they're just like, yes, do so, please. I'm waiting for you to reach out to me. I need to hear from you. I need to, um, it's like, I need to like broaden my, pers my horizon, broaden my view on this relationship. I need another perspective. And the best perspective I could ever get is obviously from my person telling me how they feel and what they think is going on in our relationship and what we need to like work on or what we need to be doing right now so I definitely feel like there's like it's like this like communication but it's like indirect communication it's I'm de well obviously but like it's just like indirect communication and your person just is really wanting to hear from you like and I feel like they're they've been waiting for a while so I feel like you haven't spoken to this person for quite some time um also always listen to your intuition and trust your intuition first and foremost because I feel like maybe you feel like you know you're waiting for this person to reach out to you you know and they're waiting for you to reach out to you now with this I would say like if you both are waiting for one another to reach out first there is like this fear component i feel like there's this feeling of like well if i reach out then i won't have leverage that's power game that's power plays that's something that we don't want to incorporate into this into this connection especially if it's divine counterpart i mean all relationships really but especially if it's a divine counterpart twin flame there's no leverage like there's no such thing as 
one above the other you both are equally made from the same cloth cut from the same cloth you both are the same you both have the same amount of power and there's a need to like shift that perspective um i feel like a lot of you needed to hear that because i'm getting like power plays like mind games like if i reach out then that means that i seem weak or something or if, you know i mean they should reach out because they did whatever first if you want to reach out to this person reach out to this person if you're feeling called to reach out to this person reach out to this person like there's a there's a sense of like ego stuff going on here and i just want to make sure you all are like aware of that because that can really get um pretty pretty toxic fast i'm not gonna lie and i'm saying this from experience like this is i everything i'm telling you is from experience like this is not something you want to do it doesn't even matter like especially if you have forgiven this person and you just you've forgiven this person and you miss them and you want to reach out to them from a place of love not from a place of like you chasing them because you think that you're that they're gonna like run off without you or you know be with someone else it's like when you are centered and grounded in yourself and when you are aware that there are no right or wrong here like we both played a part in this connection being the way it is being codependent being fearful being toxic whatever the case may be that is when you can like see things from an objective perspective and be like okay like i don't care who's right or wrong i miss you i want to talk to you i want to reach out and knowing that your person will respect that and will support you in that and then they will reach out as well because they also feel like they don't want to play mind games it's like whatever you're thinking and feeling about your person your person is thinking and feeling the exact same thing so if you're thinking from a place of ego your person's gonna think from also a place of ego and that's where it just continues in this like karmic loop that's no bueno okay what you have here i know i pretend like i don't care but i honestly really do and i feel like this is something you both do like you both are pretending like you don't care you both are pretending like you don't want to hear from each other like you don't want to speak to each other and you both honestly really care and it's just about shifting that mindset shifting that perspective and and just being honest and sitting with okay i care about this person okay i care i may care what other people think but i also care what i think it's just changing the narrative that's playing in your head um you know i know that i i know that my person is telling me things telepathically i know that i'm telling them things telepathically and it's like once you kind of get quiet you can hear what your person is saying just like your person can hear what you're saying um okay we have three messages that fell out so we have i'm learning how to trust my feelings and listen to me and listening oh my gosh and listen to my intuition exactly what i was saying like your person is trying to learn how to feel how to listen to what their intuition their heart their soul their you know is telling them about you about this connection and then we have i'm trying to hold on to my old life definitely feel that and we have ooh, that was came out that was at the bottom i'm ready to open my heart and be vulnerable with you so this person is like really trying to be honest and aware of what they're feeling and why they're feeling it and what they're thinking why they're thinking and if and this i feel like this message i'm trying to hold on to my old life is very very ego like i'm just getting straight up ego from this person like this person is trying to hold on to old beliefs old mind games old power plays old fears that i feel honestly have dissipated they're not there they're not they're not i mean they're never really there but like they're not they're not something it's not really in your person's system you know it's just kind of a habit at this point that this person is trying to hold on to and then we have i can't stand being apart from you yeah this person pretends like they don't care about like you they, they they pretend like it's okay that they're that you both are apart right now it's okay that they haven't spoken to you in like weeks or months or days and it's not this person's just trying to hold on to old ways of thinking old belief systems that honestly like i said is not even really in their system because i'm not getting like a strong sense of fear from your person i'm just getting like certain thoughts need to change and these thoughts are more from the ego and certain certain ways of thinking and behaving and looking at things need to change it's it's just more like a narrative your person's telling yourself that needs to change because i like your person is definitely ready for this message to come out means that this is how your person is really thinking and feeling and your person really wants to 
be vulnerable with you and open their heart to you I, i'm hearing your person's ready to take off their mask and be real with you so um and them doing that is being like i don't like being apart from you i don't like being in separation from you i don't like not hearing from you i don't like not speaking to you i don't care who was right who was wrong and it's like i was wrong you were wrong we were both wrong we were both right but let's just make up let's figure things out let's make things work is what i'm hearing <laughs> so let's get a couple more here like this person's just no longer wanting to pretend about how they feel or who they are and what they want to do okay anything else is your person down communicating here we have um please don't give up on me okay so yeah this person wants you to know that they hear you loud and clear whatever you're saying they get it they get the gist of it is the more that they go within reflect spend some time within the more that they can trust what they're feeling and what they're hearing from you and just from their soul in a general sense and look at the bottom it says i just want to be with you period so this person is saying don't give up on me don't forget about me don't pretend like you don't care about me like you don't care about this relationship it's like the more that you both can be vulnerable and really be honest about how you both are feeling the more that you'll see growth in this connection the more that you'll see things start to move forward and i just feel like you know that's what's wanting to happen but there's some thinking that needs to change does that, if that makes sense okay let's get three more and then we'll clarify a little bit um before we take it over to the extended Ooh, that flipped. we have it was love at first sight when i met you this message has been coming out a lot in like my personal readings and stuff like that so i definitely feel like your person is thinking back to the first time they met you they saw you and they're remembering why they even fell in love with you to begin with why they felt this instant attraction to you they're trying to remember that feeling because they want to be in a place of love they want to be in a place of unconditional love with you and they don't want to hold back anymore they want to remind themselves why they're doing what they're doing why they feel what they feel because they're tired of feeling otherwise they're tired of thinking otherwise they're tired of pretending like they don't care like um yeah so we have here i will love you forever and always and we have here i'm making the effort to contact you and tell you the truth of my feelings for you yeah this person is going to make the effort this person you know they're trying to i think they're doing the best they can i feel like your person could also be telling you telepathic messages as well but this person is trying in their own way i definitely want to clarify for that um this person is like very much in love with you and is wanting to be more a part of your life so let me get some um let me just clarify some things first i'm going to clarify a little bit that i want you so bad but what will others think message seven of pentacles yeah this person is reflecting on that a lot this person is is taking a pause and being like wait do i do i need to care what other people think how do i feel and then at the bottom we have the king of pentacles how do i feel about this how what do i think about this i want to invest in this connection i want to invest in my person i want to invest in this relationship your person is seeing like what is working for them what is no longer working for them and i definitely feel it's around other people's opinions about their life about their choices about their um who they love about you all that all that stuff um okay let's see what we have for i've been receiving your telepathic messages Ooh, too many Let's see what messages they've been receiving. Okay, we have the stars, beautiful. King of Cups, beautiful. Nine of Wands, beautiful. And at the bottom, we have the Fool. So, 
take this as it resonates but i'm seeing that they have been receiving from you that you want a new start you want a fresh start you want them to come back to you you want them there this is what they're getting they're getting you know come back to me i want to hear from you i want you to fight for this i want you to fight for me i want us both to have this new beginning this new start no matter how difficult no matter you know just be like just fuck it we're just gonna take a leap of faith and just see where things go your person is definitely wanting to talk to you about this your person is definitely wanting to explain some things because the king of cups in this deck always reminds me i don't know why of communication it just reminds me of like constant communication because your person feels so satisfied when they're with you and with the stars there it's like this is also communication this is vulnerable communication this is expressing your feelings see how she's like pouring all that liquid on his chest like this is like your person basically receiving from you that you love them that you want to hear from them you want to talk to them but you want them to make the move you want them to take that initiative you want them to be really serious and like fight for you fight for communication with you fight to be in your life fight to speak to you i feel like a lot of you you may have been you may be seeing a lot of birds particularly um white birds or like reddish like brown birds or something but they're very small like small birds that's your person letting you know that they're receiving your telepathic messages your person thinks about you a lot at night. I feel like they receive most of these messages at night. Whether you are do telepathically communicating with them at night or in the day. At night, because I feel like, you know, that's when this person gets quiet and gets reflective and, and has some time alone. And they really just kind of want to sink into the feeling of missing you and loving you and communicating with you. Even if, if it's just on a telepathic level right now. It's, it's something they really cherish at the end of their day. And... They're finding the strength to come forward and talk to you and tell you that they've been receiving your messages, but they are nervous because they're afraid of getting hurt. Um, okay, one more before we take it over to the extended flipped here. Four of Cups, yeah. They're looking for like, this person is just trying to find a plan on how to move forward with you, on how to come forward with you, on how to like change it up, do things differently. Um, I'm gonna clarify I'm making the effort to contact you and tell you the truth of my feelings okay so we have here the death the hanged man and the lovers all major arcana so, so this is a major thing your person is going through right now they're making a major effort I feel like this effort is more internal it's more of a shift in perspective it's more about them making healthy choices it's more of them um seeing what you're doing seeing what you're up to you know and 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 making choices based off of, like what you're doing like this per person is trying to like mirror you like i feel like you're in a place where you are moving forward you're healing you're loving yourself you know your worth you know your value um, that doesn't mean that you don't want your person, but you still want them. You still miss them. You still want to talk to them. Obviously, that's normal. And your person is feeling this strongly. Your person is missing you strongly. And with like all these these three major arcanas on I'm making the effort, they're really making the effort to shift into a place of alignment with their higher self, with their truth, with wanting to be in commitment with you, with wanting to love you and be with you and letting go of like unhealthy choices that just leave them feeling empty at the end of the day. This person feels so full with you. This person feels so like just so connected to you, so bonded to you as well. Even if it's just platonic right now, because I feel like I'm getting a strong message, like you haven't been sexually intimate with this person in a really long time and they're missing that. Um, they're wanting to get back into the groove of that very soon here, but they're wanting to do it in a healthy way. They want they want to do it in a way where you both are high vibrational, you know, where you both are in love with yourselves. That way you can really love each other fully and equally. So um, I'm going to take it over to the extended, but before I do, I'm going to get you an angel number. And in the extended, we will clarify some more things. We'll look into your person, what they're going through, what they're doing. We'll pull some more messages and just, you know, kind of free fall it there. Um, so let me get you an angel number for advice. We'll get you three angel numbers, actually. I'm hearing three in my head, so... 
but yeah there's definitely major shifts and changes going on with your person in this connection that there's just and it's mostly in your in like mental changes perspective shifts so we have 29 i am insightful it says you are highly intuitive and creative your mind thinks in pictures and you seem to draw information ideas from out of the sky a powerful drive to know the oneness of all things so if you're seeing 29 um spirit is on your side that also reduces to an 11 so i just feel like if you're seeing 11 11 that's also a sign that you know things are shifting your your intuition is right on point do not neglect it do not ignore it okay i'm sorry <laughs> look see i okay right 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 11 11 the universe is arranging people and experiences on your path to help you succeed and helping you wake up to who you truly are i am awakening absolutely freaking lutely i just okay you get what I'm saying. Like, you are awakening. The universe is helping you. The universe has your back. Everything you're experiencing right now, everything you are you have experienced up until this point is for a reason. It has made you more aware. It has made you more, like, wiser. It has made you more forgiving, I'm hearing. It has helped you be the person you are today. And you are continuing down that path. You are succeeding. You are um, here to help people wake up you're here to help your person wake up to realize how they feel what they think what they you know who they are that is why you're here and your person is here to do the same and i feel like that you both have really helped each other be more aware of who you are and wake up to the truth of this connection even if you did it in most like very lesson oriented way like painful way a lesson's a lesson you know and this is where i was saying that you both don't need to continue on to hold on to this anger because i'm just getting like there's a lot of resentment and there's a lot of anger that you both are hanging on to and it's keeping you both from communicating moving forward speaking it's like you both like i said are waiting for each other and you're just tel communicating telepathically which is fine but there is this wanting to ground there's there there is this like wanting to speak in the physical with one another and your person knows they have to be the one i feel like with this please come forward and reach out to me i'm waiting is wishful thinking because i feel like you've been telepathically communicating with them for a really long time and they're just like well just come talk to me in person then if that's the case but it's like this person's just like wait maybe i should reach out maybe i should be the one to you know let this person know that i'm receiving their messages and then we have nine i am compassionate so it says it's your compassion that makes you shine you're devoted to helping the greater good and have a strong talent for speaking up for others your soul is most satisfied when you are being of service so this is about being of service this is about no egos no one on their high horse no one's better than anyone else this is like have compassion for your person and at the bottom we have 444 i am protected so trust your journey trust the way your life is unfolding trust that you are where you need to be at the at this present moment for a reason and it's to help you be more compassionate with yourself and with your person whatever you do whatever you feel think and feel about yourself about your person your person's going to pick up on that so it's about really being mindful about that and really what you want your person to pick up on um and not just what you're like telepathically communicating with them they pick up on things you're just thinking throughout the day like honestly like things things that you go through they pick up on that whether they're aware of it or not they do and it really affects your relationship and it affects how this person both of you i feel like you all i mean whatever this person is doing in their day when they're around people telling them to think or feel differently i feel like you pick up on that intuitively now you everyone's different they're gonna pick up on it however you pick up on it but it is something you pick up on where you could be feeling you could be questioning and doubting your thoughts and beliefs you could be maybe feeling more inclined to take on someone else's opinion about your relationship even though the day before you were very much grounded in your own feelings and stuff like that but for some reason today you're just like oh maybe this person is right it's like because your person is doing the same thing you both are just exchanging that energy you're always exchanging energy with your person but and it's it's not it's like it's all the time and then your person's going through such a major shift of like seeing things from a place of authenticity that i feel like that's something that you're picking up on as well so let's take this over to extended you can follow me over there if you feel guided to do so if not i'm gonna leave it here i'm gonna say thank you for tuning in thank you for watching i am available to, for personal readings if you feel guided to get a personal reading from me that information will be down below and um yeah i'm sending you all so much love and light and i will talk to you all later take care